a little bit yeah so <laughs> i'm so stressed about doing this guys my eyebrows are being mess today get it pop. Hey babes and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe so that you can become a part of the CX family. As I'm sure you guys can see by the title of today's video, we're going to be giving the bowl cap method a second try. I don't know how successful it actually was this time. Pretty much the same as the first time. I feel like it is always me being tried when it comes to the bowl cap method. And I feel like it's so easy when other people do it. When I do it, it doesn't work out. So you guys are going to see me struggle yet again doing the bowl cap. It actually was going very, very well at the beginning. And then it just took a left at the end. So you'll actually have enough content to watch of me actually getting this thing right. I have done this video in collaboration with Tanashi Hair. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm not trying to do a long intro anymore. I'm trying to... Get it to pop and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hashtag Rose25K, and let's go. Okay, guys, before we get started, I'm just going to give you guys the specs. I'm going to do the full review at the end, so this part is going to be super short. Specs on this hair, this is a 360 wig from Tanashi Hair. It is in the length, I don't remember, but it'll be on the screen right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know for now, and let's get into me actually trying the bulk cap method in the next clip. Alright guys, so as I said, we're trying out the stocking cap method for the second time around. I feel like the first time we tried it, I was very new to the whole situation and I just feel like I just didn't know what I was doing. But I feel like this time I'm way more prepared, which means that it's going to come out even better and I feel like I plucked even better this time, so I have faith. Then we're gonna slay. Okay, so this is the wig that we're trying it out with. This is from Tanashi Hair. I have already plucked the front of it so it looks super natural also did add some of my foundation well, it was already my foundation my powder color but the powder is a little bit darker than me but it kind of is going to look perfect when i actually put it on my head but the first thing we're actually going to do is to lay the stocking now this for me is the hardest part because i don't know if you guys remember in the last video but like honestly i suffered but i feel like this time i've watched enough videos and i'm gonna be able to do it properly so i saw me okay guys so what I see the babes doing is that they take the wig cap and they put it over their entire life, right? You want to cover your ears. I don't want to rub off my brows and I feel like that is what's going to happen here. So you... Okay. Literally, guys, my hair underneath here is a teeny weeny afro. So it's really, really difficult sometimes. Oh my god, this is not the content. Guys, if my brows rub off, we're just gonna do them again. Just not pretend, listen, listen, it's fresh. So I'm gonna take my got to be glued spray. I did get this one from the States. I don't know if they're gonna have this size um, in South Africa, but I've heard that they do stock this at Discam now. So they do have this available for you guys. And if not, your Insta, Insta boutiques have them. So what you do next is that you try to stick this down. By putting the glue on the perimeter of your head. Now I need to do this. Okay, you know what is probably gonna work best is if we cut the ears out because yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna go off camera and just blow dry this because I can't have my blow dry on and all these three different lights on at the same time. I know it's a stress, but I'm gonna do the blow drying. Blow drying is basically just gonna be me using my blow dryer on cool setting to um, make sure that this dries quicker. Just gonna make the process go a little bit faster because obviously we don't have all day. Okay guys, I think that it is pretty dry now from what I'm feeling. I don't really know, okay? Also, I feel like my biggest issue is that my hair isn't flat enough underneath. So I don't get enough, like the stocking cap isn't big enough. And I've tried on a couple. This is the biggest one. 
So we gotta move. better this side looks a little bit yeah so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and just add um glue again to all corners but i think this time i'm gonna go in with this got to be glue. i literally have three glues with me i also have these two glues i think i'm gonna take this glue and put it on the perimeter because i feel like this is the most important part like you need this part to stick down or else it's just not gonna look cute We are bald. This is a bald cap. Don't mind these parts of the back. I normally don't know what people actually end up doing with the back pieces. I feel like they just leave them there. So I feel like if I nothing will really happen if I take it off if I leave it there. So as you guys know, the first thing that we need to do is actually measure the cap and cut off the ear tab to see if it actually is gonna fit on our head. I'm so stressed about doing this, guys. My eyebrows are being messed today. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna take this off, cut off the rest of the lace, and then get it shipa. Okay, guys, now that I've went ahead and cut the lace, I'm going to install the wig off camera. I install it how I install all my other wigs. I think you guys would have seen that already. If you haven't, I'm gonna leave a link in the cards right now. It's just gonna be much harder for me to do it again because of the blow dry situation. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to get that sorted very soon. I just need to get an extension and do my power cords you know figure out my life but um let me go and stick this down with my blow dry and my glue and all of that normal stuff then we'll come back and discuss okay guys i'm done putting the hair down i'm not going to show you guys the sides because they did not stick down properly because this wig is a little bit small for my head um which is stressful i prefer for my wigs to be big rather than small I can't really do much with a small wig i can't really glue it down so that is what I'm going through right now. Um, it kind of sucks, but we move. Um, what I'm going to do now, style the hair. I'm going to just play some music and you guys will watch me style the hair. So I'm not going to be doing anything fancy. It's basically going to be what I do to my wigs all the time. Hey guys, this is the finished 
finished look after I have actually styled it. This is how the curls came out. I love, I love, I love. Now, let's head into the final review of this hair. Okay guys, a final review on the hair. I really, really like how the hair turned out. I love the fact that my curls are super defined. I think it's all due to this new scrunching mousse that I've been using. It doesn't put too much, it doesn't feel like I have too much products in my hair. However, it really does get the job done. So I feel like this is a key item to have. So you guys can get this from Clicks, I think. No, no, not Clicks. Just came. So yeah, I got it from Discam. It really, really helps my curls stay cute. And besides that, I feel like the hair is soft. The hair bounced back really, really quickly after I had bleached it. It doesn't have a lot of shedding. I feel like it was just shedding a lot because I had just plucked it right before. So I was obviously still getting that first initial shedding because um, I hadn't washed it since I had plucked it. So I was just getting that initial shedding that everyone's going to get because of course, you don't always get all the hair out from the front so when you just put your hair through it once. So um, it's not something that I didn't expect, you know, something that I kind of i'm used to at this point but other than that really really great hair as i said the wig cap or the yeah the construction of the wig is a little bit small for me personally so that's why i couldn't do the whole ear tabs thing but if you have an option to choose a bigger um a bigger wig cap definitely do so because um, especially if you have a teeny weeny afro which is what i have and i'm not really somebody who likes to put a lot of gel on my hair so i try not to do that i try to just get it as flat as possible just using water and just tying a scarf around it super super tight so if you are somebody who has a teeny weeny afro try get a bigger cap size and if you can't do that you would want to gel your hair down if you actually want to get the um, wig cap to touch all corners of your scalp but otherwise a beautiful wig thank you so much to tanashi for sending through this hair thank you so much to you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give me a huge thumbs up i think i really did try guys with the whole bold cap method i don't know how successful i was only because of this wig i feel like i need to try it again because i feel like this wig kind of held me back because it was a little bit small so it didn't get to touch the whole perimeter of my head basically so yeah i feel like we have to try this one more time just to be sure that i can't do it just so that we're sure without saying too much else i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel hashtag road to 25k we're about 1000 subscribers away and i feel like we can do it in of october don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.